In fact, they're on their way to feed. Let me use that word. And they need information because these are some of the things that we wish that we knew. Not just me. There was not a lot of information. Maybe a little blog post here and there and all of that but not a lot of people were actually coming out here to say okay now this is my experience about fiji and that is why i decided to start this but our trees here i keep saying this our our trees here or our skyscrapers here are trees so you come here enjoy nature you enjoy the trees you enjoy the scenery you enjoy landscape you enjoy things that you don't see in whichever country that you come from or if your country is similar to fiji good for you Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome and sit tight. If you are a returning subscriber, I need to give you a round of applause. Like I, I owe you guys. Like the growth of this channel is not that grown, right? But I am celebrating every win. I'm celebrating every growth, every subscriber added, you know. And it's like I'm just doing something out of the comfort of my home i just wake up in the morning and you know sometimes i just feel like i need to you know put something out there and then i'm seeing the amount of people who are watching it i never actually knew that this you know would be something that people want to know but i'm really appreciative of all the people who are watching who are sharing who are engaging who are asking questions commenting liking subscribing once again i'm really grateful to all of you and welcome once again to my channel like I asked before, if you're just joining us for the first time, sit tight. But before you do that, please locate the subscribe button right now. Locate the notification button right now. <laughs> okay, I'm not commanding. I am begging. Please subscribe to my channel. Locate, again, the notification bell. And like this video if you like what I'm about to say. And if you have maybe gone to my channel and you saw some of the videos useful, please, please, please like, comment, share, subscribe. So... Today, I'm going to talk about things people need to know before coming to Fiji. This video is actually targeted at those people who already have plans of coming to Fiji, who already have plans of either holidaying in Fiji, who have plans of visiting, who already have jobs and maybe in a few weeks, months, years, whatever time you are moving to Fiji, like you already have in mind that Fiji is going to be like your destination in some moments to come. This video is for you. This video, I would say, is not telling people to move to Fiji. It's not telling people why they should move to Fiji. It is telling people that these are some of the informations that you need to know from my perspective before actually packing your bags or you know just coming to Fiji for whatever reasons and okay I am a Nigerian who is living in Fiji and I will beat my chest to say that I think I don't know someone should correct me I am the only African who at the moment is creating content around Fiji living in Fiji life in Fiji you know whatever that has to do with Fiji if there's anyone anyone else anyone else has seen please let me know I'd actually like to meet that person collaborate with that person you know whatever and yeah so disclaimer this is just my perspective it could be different for different people I always almost always say this in my videos so whatever you get here do with it whatever you will I'm not uh, liable for any decision you make but yeah just do with it whatever you will so I just wrote down some of the things that I need to talk about and the first and most important thing <laughs> Oh my goodness, the first and the most important thing is leave your winter clothes at home. Yes, I said that. Check, I've said that. <laughs> because it is a tropical island country, right? We here see more sun than cold. Although it could be, it's like a year-round rainy season, there's no season that we say, okay, no, that is a rainy season. It can rain at any time. But the difference between seasons is the temperature. So just like almost maybe the Western countries see more cold than sun or more cold than heat, we see more heat or we experience more heat than cold. 
<clears throat> so it's on the southern hemisphere and then our cold period or winter period although it doesn't snow is when other countries are actually in summer so yes that period we're actually cold in this side and so it doesn't actually get that to that extent of cold but it gets cold there's sometimes when it, you know it really gets cold and so but we see more or feel and experience more heat than sun so whatever clothes you're bringing need to be things that help you like help your body breathe even if like it's it's not just about the the style of clothes you wear i know i'm wearing this it's not just about the style of clothes you wear but the material of the clothes it can also get really humid and so you might be actually sweating even when you wear something as you know skimpy as whatever so it can be hot and it can be humid which is cool for people who like to see the sun people who want to experience the sun once in their life yes so your clothes really matter so there are times when people have actually come here and wish they didn't get all the clothes all the like cold clothes that they brought uh, maybe sometimes they even have to like sell them give them out or wait till they go back or probably even send it back yeah they actually some people who send back their winter clothes so you don't need a lot of the cold cold the cold cold outfits right so that has been said so it's really important like i put that on at the top of my list yeah so the second thing that you need to know about fiji is Fiji is not as fast paced like every other maybe countries that come like if you come from a country where you know there's a fast pace people are always on the move people are you know hustle bustle like my country Nigeria here it's different like here people take their time to do things like <laughs> so I'm not saying it's a bad thing I'm also not saying it's a good thing but that is just the way it is here so you could maybe expect maybe if, depending on your experience wherever you could expect that you know you go to get something done and you're expecting that it's done at a certain pace and you know so when you come to fiji just like you would do when you go to any other land that you're not used to open your mind however you see things you take it that way if you want to comment about it or you want to make uh, maybe observations about it it shouldn't be in a derogatory manner right because so that's just it so the pace there's something called fiji time just like there's something called African time. There's something called Fiji time. People are very, very well relaxed here. And so people don't like overstress themselves to achieve things. It's like we will get there, right? So and another thing I also like to add is that a lot of times a lot of times, you know, people would come here and expect that it's like the skyscraper kind of country. Fiji is not that kind of country. So Fiji, I would always like to say that Fiji is a developing country that makes the most out of, you know, their level. In fact, for you to be a tourism spot, a tropical tourism spot, I don't think, like, being so developed beats the whole idea of the tropical concept. So, yeah, so don't expect to come here and see skyscrapers. skyscrapers. Our trees here, I keep saying this, our, our trees here, or our skyscrapers here, are trees so you come here enjoy nature you enjoy the trees you enjoy the scenery you enjoy landscape you enjoy things that you don't see in whichever country that you come from or if your country is similar to fiji good for you okay i would also like to talk about the food um food is if it's in nigeria say food food day so there's food organic food that for that matter um, it could be expensive sometimes like maybe compared to like for me um, the difference here, the difference, you know, the food was kind of, like some of the foods were kind of like more expensive, like the cost was more. Um, but yeah, we've gotten used to it. And so there's, there, there are veggies, there are vegetables. You might not see all the things that maybe you are used to, but you, if you're a very open minded person in terms of food, you will see what you have. There are locally grown foods and there are imported foods as well. Now I'm talking about like farm, uh, farm produce. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, there's food. There's food. It just depends on what you eat. So if you maybe come to Fiji and you don't see what you eat, yeah, I think there's no need like complaining about it. Or yeah, you have the right to complain. See, it's life. Anyway, go to if you don't see whatever you are used to, it's normal nature for you to complain that you don't see that thing. But I think it's actually best to now think of an alternative. That's just the best thing any human being can do. So that's one. 
there's food, food is good, food is organic, food is not tampered with genetically or you know all that GMO kind of things. It's good food, homegrown. Um, yeah, I made a video about um, this. This was that this that video is targeting Nigerian food or if they are Nigerian food ingredients in Fiji as well. So maybe I'll link it somewhere if you're Nigerian and you are actually you know on your way to Fiji. Maybe you watch that video. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the culture. When you come to Fiji, I'm not going to talk about that. When you come to Fiji, just like you go to any other place, please respect people's cultures. If you see anything that they do and that is something alien to you or it's very like a culture shock, yeah, just observe, just acknowledge that it's a culture shock for you. But then it would be nice to respect it. I'm not going to say too much about that. I also made a video about culture shocks that I experienced when I moved to Fiji. So I'm going to link it also somewhere. I don't know, in, either in the comment section or maybe somewhere, like a card, somewhere on the screen. And yes, so respect culture, also respect that perspectives are different, and so things do not have to happen the way you know, you know. I, I don't think this, these, these points I'm making are actually new to some people, but then there are actually some people who don't know that when they go to another land, they respect people's culture. If this sub is for you, come and take it. All right, so um, what did I also put here? Please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I think okay, I think I've talked about this. And other things is please make the best out of it. You know, I'm going to talk about this in a British accent right now. But wherever you find yourself, please make the best out of it because that's life. Like you open your mind. Just open your mind. Things will not always be Things will not always be the way you know how to do them, but as long as you find yourself in another land. In fact, I think that is a skill that anyone who is traveling should like should be embedded in your head, in your mind. Like I am going to somewhere new, my mind should be open. Anything I say, take it like that. Anything where you see, you just carry it like that. Maybe you just the way where you see them, make the best out of it. Um, I wanted to talk about the cost of living, but I also made a video about the cost of living in Fiji, where I. I used a the cost of living that was listed in a website and I just you know compared it to you know know what was true agreeable or not agreeable and so that is another video that maybe you just go over and um, go to my channel and find that or I will link it in the comment section the description box all right so one more thing is that you could you could come here and not see a lot of the things that you would need. I would give example. Maybe some of the groceries you're used to, you might not see them here. Um, some of the electronics that maybe you're used to, you might not find them here. But they do their best to, you know, stock up or whatever. You will definitely see basic things. You will definitely, you know, they have electro they have electronics. That is not a problem. They have electronics. The only downside there might be is that. They could be more expensive than where you're coming from and so i think the reason is obvious okay i'm going to spell it out fiji is far from a lot of places and so logistics wise or maybe postage and all of those things for them to be able to ship them to this place may be a little bit expensive more i won't say expensive but more than what we're used to and so some of the things might not all some of the things might be expensive so if when you think about maybe posting these things to this place when you think about posting them here it probably might be the same thing probably i do not know i'm not sure um yeah but in a situation where you need to post things here is very doable as long as whatever you're posting goes worldwide you will get it in fiji so that shouldn't be your problem although they fiji take their imports seriously so you can't just get any and anyhow thing so if you're bringing in food items raw food items they have the biosecurity authority of fiji where you have to go and see the things that are contraband and things that are not contraband right excuse me okay see the things that are not contraband um things that so basically whatever you need to do just like go to google might help you but i've just listed the biosecurity authority of fiji um, know what it's know what is allowed what is not allowed if you're coming in whatever you have in your possession they always tell you to declare it and you actually have to declare it. even if you feel it's contraband 
just declare it because if they find out that it was not declared, even if that thing is allowed, but you did not declare it, you could be penalized for that. So they take that very seriously. They actually take their ecosystem, let me use that word, their ecosystem, the, the integrity of their ecosystem is very important to them. So whatever you're bringing, just make sure it's allowed, right? Maybe I'll make another video about that. So, but yes, this video has gone longer than I wanted it to be. But then, like I said, this video was for people who actually have plans. Like, in fact, they're on their way to Fiji. Let me use that word. And they need information. Because these are some of the things that we wish that we knew. Not just me. There was not a lot of information. Maybe a little blog post here and there and all of that but not a lot of people were actually coming out here to say okay now this is my experience about fiji and that is why i decided to start this for people who are in my shoes or who maybe i was in their shoes if that makes sense so yes today's video i don't make videos all the time but i'm very appreciative of those people that watch my videos. so please and please if you have watched till this point thank you so much hit the subscribe button if this video was helpful i'm glad it was um, comment, share, share, share. In fact, engage it so that the video moves to the people that really need them. Until I come your way next time. Bye.